Welcome back to the runner. Big thank you to Northside Marine and Jono for letting us have a look at his Mary Fisher 695 Series 2. This is the Jono Mary Fisher 695 Series 2. Uh, this is Jono's boat, Genesis, that's been in for a service. He has optioned it up with heaps and heaps of non-factory options. Very mad keen fisherman, so it's all optioned up for him. First off, this is the 695, very trainable boat. It is two and a half metres wide, so you don't need any special um, regulations or paperwork to travel it in Australia. And it is a reasonably light boat, so you can travel it with most normal truck. This is the famous Mary Fisher hull. Very stable, very hard to see. It's got here. So Mary Fisher uses the same hull style on all of its range from the 695 up to the 1095 with a tapered V shaped hull. Under here as well, with all Mary Fishers, we've got a bow thruster. So even on a boat that is a 695, a 7 meter long boat, you get that extra control if the wind starts getting at you at the bow thrust to help you manoeuvre around. Moving down to the third. Love to see this. Nice teak option taken here. Some boarding ladder. Northside Marine has fitted the max horsepower for the 695. 200 horsepower of Yamaha. Very nice little option in here. You can tell this has got Helmaster. So these lights flash when the helm master is engaged. Because you don't have throttle control on the propeller, the helm master is taking control of it. You want to make sure that anyone around the back of the boat knows what's happening, so those lights light up to tell you that the prop is in action. Underneath, trim tabs, of course, very large transducer, underwater lights, nice option, even on a smaller boat like this. And even from here, we can see those added extras. Let's jump on board and have a look. Stepping inside the cockpit here, you can see instantly there's been a lot of work done on this boat. The Bimini has extra support to have these beautiful clears put on so this can all be cleared in. If the weather turns a bit bad, you can get out of the weather. Also helps protect the boat when in storage. As with all 695s, the cockpit can serve multiple purposes. You can sit down here for lunch and uh, Easy room for five people. This can be put away and you have more options and more space for you to do some fishing. You notice above my head, John is putting in a big TV. Not just to uh, catch some Netflix or check out some TV, he's mirrored it to the Garmin. So while fishing, you get his depth finder or his fish finder up on the TV and, and, and watch it. Really tricky option. Also, big night lights if you're out here at night doing some fishing and all this talk of fishing look what's happened on the back backboard very nice stainless steel area to fish and securely fish so you can really brace yourself against here additional place to mount a small outboard if you've got a tender and down under here is a light bait one so all your fishing can happen right out the back. Perhaps why people have some lunch inside. With the different options, you can drop the table away. There's an insert in here, and then you have a nice big sun pad. You can lie out. I think the weather is good. There is also close the gate, and there's a seating insert, so you can have full U-shaped seating. To give everyone a nice chance to have some lunch. Moving into the cabin, as with all Mary Fishers, it is nice and dry in here. So if we close this, it keeps all the engine noise out of the way. And if the weather turns foul, you're nice and dry in here. But it is light and airy. I mean, I guess that's the Mary Fisher signature. When you get into the cabin, you don't feel like you're closed in. There's a sunroof here, which is 
which we can close. Windows both sides. The flippable cap co-captain seat. So for having some lunch or a little dinette. Close that. Flip it. And you're ready to help the captain out. Talking of the captain. Jono has put so much gear in here, I'm extremely jealous. Let's have a look what he's got. Moving into the captain's chair, we have all the gear that you'll need. The biggest thing you'll note is joystick control, the, the Yamaha Helm Master. Your throttle control is down by your elbow, so if you're driving, it's a very comfortable place to use your throttle. And then you've got the joystick for that additional control you'll need uh, in a marina or when you're precisely maneuvering over that coral bombi to do your fishing. This is the Helm Master's control panel. So you, that'll all come up on your Garmin screen. The big touchscreen Garmin, Fusion Stereo, Yamaha engine controls, and your trim tabs. Moving down by the wheel, the bow thruster, and all your rocker switches. It is a great captain's area. Everything is well within reach. You've got a Bose bolster seat to pull yourself up if you want to drive standing up, and you've got a footrest as well for that extra comfort. On a seven meter boat, how much can you fit in? You've even got a little galley and a fridge by your feet there. So gas cooker with the gas bottle out the side and a sink in there some storage for all your needs they've really Janot you know, can really fit a lot into a vessel so this is an overnighter not a massive overnighter I wouldn't stay out for days at a time but you could definitely stay overnight talking of places to sleep if you go overnight or maybe you just need a bit of a rest after a hard day on the water you can flip the co-captain's chair over remove the table there's inserts that go in here and you've got a bed or a day bed and you can notice there's curtains everywhere so this whole cabin can be blocked out and you can sleep in here and just behind me you've got another sleeping area in there john has got all his gear stocked in and he's even put another tv in a lot of space a new addition to the 695 series 2 which came from a lot of customers was this little spot under the bed so in here there's a space to fit all your extra cushions when you, uh, you need to store them out. Good option. Shows Juno really listening to the customers. If you're going to stay away overnight, or if you're just spending your day in the water, a real luxury is to have a head. And here, you've got a head with a manual toilet and a sink with the porthole there. Moving out of the cabin, we'll go around to the bow, have a look at all the things that Juno's put on the roof, and some extra additional factory items. Let's have a look. And there's grab rails. And there's grab rails to move forward. Up here on the bow, a great extra is the beach landing ladder. So you can pull in, bow onto the beach, flip the ladder over and jump, jump on shore. Anchor. And Anchor okay, covered with your electric anchor windlass and chain, chain locker. Plenty of cleats, additional air for your cabin. And just looking at the roof, big light bar to light everything up. TV antenna, uh, the Garmin antenna there and your VHF uh, antenna. Roof racks, so you can carry a sup or surfboard or whatever ever else you want to carry, and rocket launchers too. Really well set up, mate. Nice. Big thank you to Northside Marine and Jono for letting us aboard this 695 Series 2 with all its additional extra options. I hope you liked that video. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time on the rudder.